Hello guys, gals, and MB pals. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make that there fried rice. Now, the essentials you will need are rice, obviously. You can use whatever rice you want. Um, I sometimes make out of leftover Chinese food. It does not matter. But it has to be leftover rice. If you want to make your own rice, you're going to have to leave it out for like an hour to cool. Otherwise it will fuck up. And you need a pan. Soy sauce, otherwise it's not going to taste good. Fucking weird label. Uh, I recommend go garlic powder. Onion is not necessary. I leave it out sometimes because my boyfriend doesn't like it. Vegetable oil. I think you can use other oils. Haven't tried. Another optional ingredient. Egg. Also, you'll need vegetable. Any mixed vegetable. You can chop them in yourself. Free frozen vegetables. I don't care. I'm not a cop. You can also add meats, but I'm not going to be doing that today because I was too lazy to cut it. Now, the first thing you want to do, oil your pan. Not too much. It won't fry, but like, don't drown it. Uh, then you're going to heat it up. And then you're going to get your fucking rice. And you're going to wait a few seconds for your pan to heat up so you don't fuck it up. Now that your pan is heated up, I forgot to mention you should do around medium heat. Maybe a little above medium heat. Doesn't really matter too much. And then you're going to pour a rice in there. Doesn't, it doesn't really matter how much you add, just like try to cover the whole pan with like maybe an inch. I'm trying to get this into frame. Jesus Christ, this is awful looking. Spread that shit out. So it's evenly on the pan, and then uh, a little more rice. Harder. For a pan about this size, I made uh, two cups, but I think that was a little too much rice because I only used like half the pan, so maybe like a cup of rice. This is enough to serve like two people. Okay, now my favorite part: you're gonna wait until it is brown on the edges. Do not touch it. Do not touch the rice until it is golden brown on the edges. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. The edges should now be uh, like lightish brown. The edges should be darker than the rest of the rice, okay? After that, you are going to get your vegetables. You don't have to add vegetables because, I don't know, but you should. If you don't add vegetables, it's just going to be gross. Uh, at this stage, you would also add meats. Any meat of choice, I don't care. Gotta be pre-cooked, though. Ooh. About that many vegetables. And you stir that shit in. Oh yes, at this stage, you should also add your garlic powder and onion. Not too much. And just a little bit of onion. I don't add this all the time because my boyfriend doesn't really like it. But I like it, so I'm going to add a little bit because he's not here right now. Oh, that is not screwed on right. Just a little bit. Yeah. And stir it again because I forgot. You might want to add a little bit more oil. If it's, if it's dry, add a little bit more oil, which I'm going to do because I don't want to fuck up my rice. I like rice. And I'm hungry. Oh, you can stir it at this point. It doesn't matter because you've already. Yeah. Again, this is a recipe you can fuck up and it'll still be good. So who cares? Again, I'm an I'm an incompetent idiot, and I still make this taste good. It's fucking easy. But yeah, it should smell absolutely goddamn amazing right now. Because it's fucking garlic and onion with fucking every- it's just amazing. I love the smell. Oh fuck, I'm so hungry. Uh, if you want, you can also add crushed red pepper. I like to add it. Sometimes, like, try to add the right amount, you can taste test. Uh, I usually don't add too much when I'm making it for my friends, but when I'm making it for myself, I add a decent amount, because I like spicy food. Blah blah blah. There we go. You don't have to add it. Again, fried rice, you can just add whatever the fuck you want. This is really a food 
you can just if you can just do it in however you want. I'm not a cop. Fuck cops. Fuck twelve. You can make your fried rice however the goddamn fuck you want. You can add chicken. You can add beef. You can add shrimp. You can t you tell me a shrimp fried this rice? Yeah, exactly. Just add whatever the fuck you want. Vegetables. Um. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave that a little bit longer so that the vegetables can cook. Once you think your vegetables are cooked, you want to scoop all your rice to one side of the pan, as seen, don't spill, you want to scoop all your rice to one side of the pan, so you can make room. Now, if you, you can add an egg, you don't have to add an egg, but I personally like adding an egg, sometimes I add two, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, then you add more oil on the side, on the empty side. Because you're going to fry your egg. Well, you're going to scramble it, actually. So you add your egg. You don't have to. Another cup. Then you use your spoon to scramble the egg. And then you're going to wait a bit while it cooks. Because you don't want to accidentally undercook your egg. I did that once, and I got kind of sick. It was awful. Yeah, just like kind of poke it a bit. You should also, at this point, turn your heat down to maybe around medium. Maybe a little bit lower than medium. I don't know. Let's see, is that good? Yep, now that the egg is cooked a bit good enough, you stir it into the rest of your rice. Definitely fucked up the egg a bit, but that's okay because it's still gonna be goddamn delicious. Alrighty, I think the rice is now ready. Now you're gonna turn off the heat because now is the stage where you add your soy sauce. My friend said you could add Worcestershire sauce. But I haven't tried it. I'm just gonna stick with soy sauce because it's what I have. Uh, you remove it from the heat, which should be off, and then you add like a few circles, like just oh, it seals. Always open your soy sauce if you're gonna put it in something. So then you add just a few. It's about that much, however much you feel like, and then you want to incorporate it into the rest of your shit. Now, don't forget to add soy sauce, otherwise it won't taste as good. The soy sauce brings it together. Now, your fried rice is ready. You can eat it now. I'm gonna taste test it. Mmm, that's good. Remember to like and subscribe.